Well, in other news, the long-awaited Goldwyn Resort in Western New Providence prepares to welcome guests early next year as it looks to enhance the local economy and tourism product. Aljafiz Munnings has the details. With an impressive $2 billion in property and assets under its umbrella, Goldwyn Resorts and Residences in Cable Beach is the Wynn family's first luxury boutique property. And the views definitely tell its story. The prime Western New Providence location is split right in the center. 81 residential suites comprising studios, one and two bedrooms, as well as luxurious three bedrooms. Then there are 79 residential suites that will serve as full-time residences. Goldwyn Resorts and Residences CEO Don Adams confirms the first guests will receive their keys February 1st, 2023. The residential side, we're pretty much sold out. We've got a few units left. Uh, we have, we've got a few units left, but not many. They're, they're definitely uh, a target for investors, for sure. And we see that about 78% of our market will come from the eastern seaboard of the U.S., about another 15% from Canada. So those will be our, our two major markets that we'll focus on. Goldwyn developers recently gave Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Philip Davis, a grand tour of the property. He met with staff and was in awe of the facility's luxurious amenities. The workmanship is impeccable, exquisite, and I'm sure that the residents here, visitors here, will have an exquisite experience. It demonstrates the confidence that that the developer has in the, in the Bahamas. And the, fact, and, ha, and the conference that he has that this will work. Um, it will all go well for our economy because I, I'm advised that they will be hiring at least 200 or plus workers here on the property. Um, they're about to start another phase of this next door, which is another um, boom for the economy. And for that, I just would like to thank the investors and the developer for their continuing confidence in this country. And the project's expected to propel the country's tourism product. Starting in February, we're looking to ramp up slowly. We want to make sure that we do it right, that we find our stride. We want to create a truly customer-centric uh, experience. So we're going to be a little bit uh, apprehensive to just go guns a-blazing. But we're going to target for an overall average for year one. We want to target at about 65% occupancy. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Altaviz Munnings.